so that would be a good start. What's going on in chat? I see. All right, so t-shirts, mugs, decals. These are the final, uh, the final project for this class, which we have until June seventh to finish up. Uh, there's a couple things where you have pretty much creative freedom with a couple of like asterisk, which I'll go over here in a second. Uh, there's some templates that can help you get started, which I will all talk about right here on your final project. Project 9.1 is the last project for graphic design. It is worth 50 points. You'll notice it's worth five of your previous projects. So it's because it is your final. This is one that you will want to do. Due date and deadline is the same, both on June 7th, which is in a week and a few days. So I think it's in eight days. Um, we'll go over this stuff here in just a second. So you guys are choosing either to create one t-shirt, one decal, or one mug. Your class fee that you paid as a part of graphic design or your guardians paid as a part of graphic design is going to cover the cost to get those things. But you do have to choose one of them um, of the three, which you will do here at this choose a print option right in the forehead of Canvas. So you, if you do no designing today, if you just do research, this is something that you definitely wanna do before you leave class today so that I can kind of gauge how many of you are doing t-shirts, decals, or mugs. So with the t-shirts, decals, or mugs, the t-shirts and the mugs can be in full color, but the decals are only in black and white. So if that influences your decision, keep that in mind. Decals are only black and white. T-shirts are gonna be in full color. Mugs are going to be in full color. The default T-shirt is a white 50% polyester blend. Looks like this. I mean, it won't have this design on it, but it will, it's this kind of shape, all right? If you wanna bring your own shirts of a different color, or if you wanna bring some type of sweatshirt or tote bag or other type of cloth material, that you would like to print your t-shirt, quote unquote t-shirt, design on, you can do that. Just make sure that the material is at least 50% polyester. Your class fee pays for one white t-shirt. If you want a different color or a different type of like garment, you have to provide that yourself. As long as it is 50% polyester, you're good. And you can make more than the one print, but your class fee only includes the one printed shirt. So the rest of those are out of your pocket. The decal is not uh, exactly what a sticker is because it's kind of, it's easy to get those two confused. A decal is, you'll make your design in black and white. And then it's a lot more of like an artistic printmaking process where you will cut off the parts that you don't want to keep and then lay transfer paper over the parts that you do and move that transfer paper to where it and eventually will end up. Whether that's your water bottle, your laptop, your uh, bumper on your car, whatever, it is a little bit more involved process than a sticker, but it is a very satisfying thing to finish up if that's the direction that you want to go. And then the mug is a standard, uh, standard mug. It doesn't have any crazy shapes. It's made out of white ceramic and the designs can be full color on this guy right here. So if you're ready to design, there are a couple categories here that will help you get started. Um, I do have this thing right here that's kind of new for some of our projects thus far where it says, Mr. Blakeney reserves the right to deny printing your design. All that means is you guys are using Skyline materials. You are putting something into the physical space. It's um, a lot easier to be seen, which makes it a lot easier to be uh, misunderstood or misinterpreted or maybe even offensive, even if that's not your intent. That's why we have this disclaimer on here that if you if your shirt is not something that um i in my professional opinion think is good to be printed i will let you know why and we'll explore different options okay i don't expect to do this a lot i trust you guys will make uh good decisions and i know the capability of your designs so i'm not expecting to have to do this a bunch but do keep in mind that i reserve the right to deny printing your design and i will tell you why that is so you can use a pre-existing design uh, you can amp it up a little bit since it's going to be something that you're going to show off. You'll get a chance to flex your design skills a little bit. But if you would rather choose an option to start with, there's 10 options here that you can uh, make your design around, whether that's mug, decal, or t-shirt. They all work um, if you need help getting started like this. 
Here's a couple samples that Mr. Hendricks and I have collected over the um, the years we've done this, as well as some student samples. These are all just kind of basic letter form logos for option one. Here's what the mugs will look like once they're fully printed. These are not uh, student designs. These are off the internet. Okay. Here's the decals. The way this works is it prints it in black and white. You cut out all the white parts or the black parts, whichever you want to keep. Uh, or sorry, whichever you want to get rid of, like a mask. You'll put transfer paper over top and then transfer it to wherever um, it goes. If I can be honest, this one is the most work and you get the um, you get the least customization because it's only in black and white. However, this is one of the most satisfying ones to pull off um, if you decide to go this route. And here's what the t-shirts might look like. You get the max size eight and a half by 11, one letter sheet of paper. So if you imagine, I don't have any on me right now, but your design can be this big. You can put it on the front, the back. You can make this space have a lot of little designs that you arrange like patches or stickers. Those are all options and those are all things we'll talk about as we get closer to the actual printing process. So once you're ready to, you can start designing on these preset artboard sizes, or you can scroll down to the ready to print section and find three templates. Pick the one that you're going to do. And when you do that, it's gonna have a little area that you can see how your design's gonna look as well as, um, we'll do the t-shirt for example here, as well as a space for uh, something that we'll go over here in just a second. Oh, this is a PDF, okay. Hold on, let me get this going. All right. So this is what happens when you open it like that. Let me open it with Illustrator, like a true graphic designer. Just going to open with Adobe Illustrator. And think about it for a second. The reason I'm showing you this, I know you guys know how to open with stuff, is there's an important thing that I want to bring up. So this is what it's going to look like when you import it. It's got this little shirt sort of mock-up. So you can see how your shirt's going to look. You can place the design wherever on the t-shirt as long as it fits under the heat press. Um, it does not have to be dead center like this one is here. But you'll notice there are two sections with a line down the middle, okay? It says your design and your partner's design. The only reason that this is here is to help us save on ink and paper. You do not have to collaborate with anybody in this class on the final design that goes on the shirt. However, when you're ready to print, we'll put your design on one half. See, this is eight and a half by 11. And you'll put a partner's design on this half, also eight and a half by 11. So that when we print, we save paper, we save time, we save ink, we save all the cool stuff that allows us to do uh, a cool project like this. So when you see it says partner design, that does not mean you have to collaborate. It just means when you are ready to print, you're going to share the file with another one of your classmates. And then all of these steps are related to when we get to the actual printing process. We're still in the design process. The last thing I'll show you, I got two more things actually is we have these videos here in Canvas walking you through the process from start to finish on how these designs come together. Those were ones that Mr. Hendricks and I have made so you can see the final results as well as the steps required to print these items. And then the last thing I'll show you is this cool stuff playlist right here. If you're feeling completely stuck, you have no idea what to design, you can follow one of these tutorials and end up with a pretty sick result that's gonna look good. Um, Regardless, it I did uh, create this playlist with my sort of graphic design tastes in mind. Um, you're welcome to look around for other Photoshop tutorials. These are ones that I just thought were cool. And I think that I like to, it's the style of design that I like is basically what I'm saying. That's in the cool stuff playlist in the forehead of your document. So I want you guys to treat this project like a test in your other classes, okay? Take it seriously. This is your example to show off all the different things that we've covered in Illustrator, in Photoshop. You can use both or just one. You don't have to, you don't have to use both. This is your chance to really show off your graphic design skills as well as get a good amount of points uh, for this class. It's due June 7th. It's not accepted after June 7th. And it is your final for this course. Does anybody have any general questions before I start walking around, making sure we're all good? Zahid. Um, can you do like a small logo on the front and like a, like a regular big one on the back? You can, yes. As long as you stay within that eight and a half by 11 artboard, you can cut out different parts and then press them twice. 
I've done that before. It looks really cool. Any other questions? Are we all good? Okay. Thank you guys for listening. Take this seriously. Keep in mind, I'll be proofing these before we uh, before we print them for realsies. Okay.